Welcome to Workflow 3, Documenting a Patient Visit. In this workflow, we will review how to create a consult note and add a diagnosis, how to create labs, imaging, and a prescription, and how to create a referral letter. Create a consult note and add a diagnosis. We want to go to the patient. We're going to click on Chester Tester today. He's coming in to get his blood pressure checked. To add the consult note, we need to go to EMR. Select the Encounter Note tab and the drop-down arrow to review your list of options. You're going to choose Soap Note. You can choose different notes or templates if you like. So this would be a standard one. Press OK once the date is selected and input the information there. Once you're done, click Save and it will go into their chart. You can press Close to make that go away. And it should show up here and it will also show up back in the virtual chart under the date. To add the diagnosis, um, they came in, they got their blood pressure checked, um, and they turn out to have emphysema. So we're gonna add a diagnosis to their history of problems over here on the right. You're gonna click new diagnosis, the green plus sign, and it will, you can either input the code here, the 492, and it'll pop up here, and you can select there, or you can put it in description, and you can enter in partial word, and it will bring up all those. And I'll come up with emphysema here. You can select, and then you can put notes if you like, um, and then press apply and okay. And that will go into their history of problems. So you've entered their diagnosis, and that will show up on uh, reports. So to make a lab rec and imaging rec, we're going to go to the next patient. She's coming in for STI check. Um, so we're going to click on Amanda and you're going to go down to EMR again. We're going to, it's going to start in the virtual chart, but we want to go to encounter notes. So to create a lab rec for this, we're going to press the drop down here uh, where it says soap. And this brings up all the standard forms here. You can either scroll down and find the lab rec form. For our EMR, it's under IHA lab rec. So you can click on that. Um, alternatively, you can press on the drop down and go to template search and type in lab. And that will bring up all different types of lab recs for anything with lab in the name. So we're gonna click on the IHA lab rec there. And we're going to go down, we're going to do all the, the usual tests for STI. And when you're done, uh, you go OK at the bottom. And that will show up here. And it will also show up in the virtual chart. You make an imaging rec. Uh, that will be the same, same process. So we can either type it in here, go imaging. And we can choose Northern Health Imaging Rec here. So you can go that route, or you can go uh, scroll down, and you can find imaging, maybe an MRI requisition this time. Put all the information in. You can either print it if you need it on hand, or fax again if you'd like, or you can just save it to their EMR again, and it will show up either here or in their virtual chart. So Chester Tester is coming in for a prescription refill um, or a new prescription. So we're gonna go to their EMR on the far left, press that button. And you'll want to go to medications tab here and to create a new prescription. You're gonna click new prescription, enter the drug, press okay or you can search by uh, classification or drug name here. So we're gonna just go here, choose ibuprofen, press okay. And then you can enter in all of the specific quantities, refills, all the instructions. And then once applied, press okay at the bottom, it'll ask for your signature and then you can fax to the pharmacy. So we have test patient test and they're coming in to get a referral for mental health. So click on the patient, go over to EMR, 
go to encounter notes tab and we're going to go to the drop down and we're going to put in for the one liner referral. Um, if you are new to a practice and you're just wanting to send a quick little referral, this is a good way to do that. It'll load their active medications, known allergies, medical history, surgical history, and you can click on the medication if you want to add that. If you're happy with what's put in, you can also edit as you like, um, type in any additional information. And once you've done that, you can press generate letter. This will pop up, make it into a letter form. Down here, your signature will be loaded, uh, but we're on a test patient, so that's not showing up. To add a fax number, you go up to two, press on the little um, icon and just put in who you're referring to. We're gonna click on test test. It'll load their information here. And when you're happy with what you're ready to send, you can press send letter from there. If not, and you're not ready to send it, just press okay, it will save it to their EMR. It'll also show up back in the virtual chart as a clinical note. This now concludes workflow three. Thanks for watching.